Good day fine people once again. My name is Nick, we're on the Atari 2600. We're looking at quite an early game this time. This one is called Skydiver, posed by Atari in 1979. And it's based on an arcade cabinet coin up uh, from 1978, also by uh, Atari. Now, basically it's one to two players, but I'm the only player here. And essentially you need to parachute out of this plane and hit the drop zone each time and you're awarded points. Now, Depending on how late you open your parachute and how central you hit the target point, that's how many points you get, and it's always marked out of 11. You get nine jumps. Here we go. I'm in that brown plane. So let's go. Open parachute, and I'm nowhere near. Now, you do need to bear in mind the wind. So look at the bottom middle. There's a flag there. Turn on going left and right. That's the strength of the wind. And when we open our parachute, we can try and direct it. And at the moment, I'm nowhere near. So you only get points for landing on your own platform, the brown one. If it's two players, then obviously there's a pink girl trying to get there too. Right, so I've opened it. The wind is nothing. So now I've finally got some points. Five. Now, if you had this game back in the day, let me know. So it's quite basic what to do. do. But, uh, you know, it's all about perfecting it. So these reviews aren't about expert gameplay. They're about seeing how you would have got on with the game your first or second go. And would there have been enough there for you to want to go back and play it again. Right. Now, I'm digging it so far. I've got to admit, if I played it in 1979, I would have been five. So I would have loved this, trying to get on the platform. Especially if I had a friend trying to get on the other platform at the same time. Right, so 25 points, not bad. Uh, the jumps left is on the bottom left, you can see. It's gone now to three. No oh, wind a little bit. So it's best to open the parachute, just that either left or right, depending on what the wind is going to blow you back. And uh, sometimes you can try and direct it back. If the wind is strong, you've got no chance of guiding it in that direction, in the opposite direction, I should say. Right, so I'm getting a few points here. 38. So it's out of 99. A maximum of 11 points for each jump. Uh, 9 jumps, 99. You can do the maths. Go on, Nick. Good. So it's very, very basic. I'm not sure what else it come out on, but I'm liking it already. So 42. Wasn't that the um, the answer to everything, the meaning of life and the universe, according to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? I don't know. That's 42 out of 99. So if that was um, my old GCSEs, I expect that would be a D or a D, wouldn't it? A D for dunce cap. Anyway, let's go. I got a D for French, actually. That's my worst mark. Anyway, I haven't used it since. Open the parachute. Now, the later you open your parachute, the better your scores. So that's 9 out of 11. That's not a bad one. But, of course, if you try and open it too late, it won't open and you'll get no points and die. No points if you don't hit the target. Ooh. Let's try and beat 42. So I'm only trying to beat myself. We're not trying to beat the high record here. If you're liking Atari 2600 stuff, it's all in the playlist. Click on my username. Not now. We missed the video. Uh, and that takes you to the channel page. Click on playlist. Atari 2600 will be there. Good. Big thank you to the subscribers. Oh, man. <laughs> Big thank you to the subscribers uh, there. If you've watched this far into the video, please consider doing so, because that helps the channel grow and get noticed in a very tricky market, please. Right. Here we go. Guiding it through. So you could open the parachute early, but you don't get as many points there. We've got, uh, what, we've got four jumps left to try and beat the mighty 42. The answer to everything in the universe. Right. Biff. I'm playing the PAL version. The, um, I don't know, the USA version, the browns seem, seem to be red, so it might be more exciting colours there. But it's brown versus pink. Come on. That's not bad. I'm getting the hang of this now. So I should beat 42. I'm quite confident. I've got two jumps left. Let's just get gradually bad, sir. So maybe we can open the parachute really late. There we go. Get on there. Oh, no points for that. That didn't count that I was on the pad. That was a bit stingy. Just keep an eye on that. Look, so super strong wind now, blowing to the left. So it's going to go miles that way. Come on. 42. Well, I did open the parachute a bit early. So 42 followed by 42. Well, that's trying. To, the universe is trying to tell me something here. 42 is the meaning of life. It must be because it's come up to us. And am I going to be stuck on 42 forever? I don't know. Well, we will have a few, uh, couple of more goes on the thing. Aim the reviews to be about uh, 10 minutes or so. But I, this is quite relaxing, this game. It's um, it's not too high a tempo. I'm getting a nice buzz from it. I always say my favourite era is 1982 to, well, 80s to 85. But this is just before it. But yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's not too technical. There's no DLCs here. Right, come on, try and beat 42. Get on it. Right. Scores out of 11. So I got 6 out of 11 for that. So that's on target to probably get round about 42, I would have thought. My pad looks a bit lower there to him. Come on. How many points were there? Right, 14. So I'm averaging 7 and go. 7 times 9. You do the maths. That beats 42, doesn't it? Yeah, it must do. Right, keep that up. 
playing it safe. No, 22, so just over 7 points and jump. 42 is in danger here, unless I muff this up royally. Oh no! Get over there. The wind helped me a little bit there. What do we get for that? Not many points. I'm still 7. 4 for 7. 4 times 7 is 28. Come on, aircraft. The planes never crash into each other. Cool. 33. Hmm, starting to gain down on the average now, but you know, I've got four jumps to can't get past 42. Surely, surely, Nick. Get back in there, line up. Playing it safe. 37. Hmm, only got a handful of points there. So, you already know how to play this game straight away. Uh, it's, it's fire button to um, start parachuting out, then obviously left and right to guide it after you open the parachute. And you open the parachute by pressing down on the joystick. Yeah, go, we're past 42. We've, we've smashed 42. We're over, we're past halfway mark, so GCC's, I'm in a C now, or a C plus. They've probably changed it. It's done on figures now, isn't it, rather than... Whoa, get in there. Oh, look at that. I'm smashing this now. 62 points. Smashed it there. So 62 out of 99. That's in the upper echelons of parachute uh, magic. Hooray for me. I can't think of any other parachute games. All I can think of is, of is that screen in Manic Minor called the Skylab Landing Bay, where, where people keep crashing and stuff. 62. Should I leave it there? No. Let's try and beat 62. I'm sure I can do that. What's 62 the answer to? Well, the answer to everything plus 20. That is for sure. I'm talking rubbish again. Parachute into the drop zone. Not the danger zone. Not the oi zone. Uh, woman's zone. That's a magazine or boy zone. It's the drop zone. Right, okay. I would say put your favourite parachute game low, but uh, you'd probably say Grand Theft Auto 5, wouldn't you? Oh, what a great star that is. I missed the target completely. Not going to beat 62 like that, am I? Might have to take a few more risks to try and get up the scores. Boof, that was a late opening. Right, 10 out of 11 that scored. Good. That's that's not bad. That's almost a perfect one. Slightly off-centre there. That's my character in general. That's not too bad either. Right, uh, good. Right, I think I'm getting 10, 10 a go now. 10 for 10. Two 10s. I'm getting my eye in. So, you know, good learning curve on this one. I think eventually, after a few hours with this, yes, it, that's 11, perfect. Um, after a few hours uh, with this, I think you'd be perfect in player one, and that's when you really need the excitement of a second player there, where, you know, it's extra jeopardy, because you, your eyes wander to what they're doing while trying to do what you're doing as well, and you make more mistakes, it gets more exciting. And, and no doubt you're probably you're trying to put each other off and bashing into each other, which is uh, more of the fun. I might even beat 62 here with that duff uh, first jump. Yeah, I'm opening the parachute gradually later each time. I'm getting the... Oh, yeah, I'm loving this game. He's loving it. But, yeah, we're desperate for player two to turn up. Where is player two? If you're still here, then comment below. What is a very, very basic game. You know, they're all, we're all stress-busting here. It's having a bit of a laugh. I, this is quite close to expert gameplay now. You can get out of this. Oh, no, he says to that. Strong wind corrected it there. Look, I'm well past 72. 74. 74 points. So, 42... 42, 62, and then 74. I will just have one last go here, folks, because I, I miss up that first jump. I think I might be able to get into the 80s. I don't want to set myself up here, but maximum 99. If you have got a maximum of 99, then comment below in the comment section. Was that back in the day, or was that since you played it in like modern day life for the sake of another phrase? Right, come on, let's land all these. That's out of, like 10 out of 11. Good. I doubt I'm going to get 90, but anyway, I'm on target to get 90. Let's get another 10 or even an 11. Open. Right, 10 for 10. 20. Good stuff. Keep this up, Nick. Keep this up. We'll be getting the high score for sure. Oh, that was a late one. Oh, no points. Boo boo. So I think I might see. Oh, man. Muff that up royally. See, and that was 11. See, I get that was a perfect jump. I, I think I could get 99 if I played this um, long enough. But, you know, the later you do the parachute, the chances are you might miss the target. Especially if you've got a strong wind to contend with. 40. That's not bad. That's that 40 out of 55 I've got so far. So it's not mm, target for about maybe 80 or so. 51. Good, no rain in this one. I, I'd love to have seen this game on the ZX Spectrum. I don't think it'd come out on it, but it, it would be nice to see. But uh, it, it really suits the um, the Atari 2600 well, this game. And 1978, not was the arcade, 1979, it, well, I think it would have been a big winner with me. A big winner with me when it was just magical to see something moving on the screen that you had pure control of. Right, what was it? What did I have to beat? 74? 
So I'm going to beat that, even with even with one duck jump. There we go, I'm into the 80s. 82 out of 99. That's not bad, I'll settle with that. That's a good little score. I've, I've pretty much got the hang of this. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that game. Basically, it was. I really liked it. A good piece of gaming uh, history. If you've got any comments about this game, um, actually, I, I should announce what it is first. So that was Skydiver by Atari in 1979 on the Atari 2600 based in the arcade cabinet from Atari 1978 right now this bit Nick if you have any comments about this game similar games or anything retro then please put that below you're always more than welcome until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye